This question is to determine positive definite quadratic forms, determining k values. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel Math Tutor 8285. Your subscription fuels the passion. Let's grow together. Thank you so much. Let the quadratic form 2 times x1 squared plus 5 times x2 squared plus x3 squared plus 2 times k times x1 times x2 plus 2 times x1 times x3 minus 4 times x2 times x3. Be positive definite. Determine the possible values of k. First step is to write the matrix of the quadratic form. The symmetric matrix corresponding to this quadratic form is row 1, 2, k1, row 2, k5, negative 2, row 3, 1, negative 2, 1. To check whether the quadratic form is positive definite, we apply Sylvester's criterion, which requires that all the leading principal minors of the matrix must be strictly positive. Next step is to compute the leading principal minors. First, the one by one principal minor is simply the top left element of the matrix, which is two, that is clearly positive. Next, we compute the two by two leading principal minor formed by the top left two rows and columns. The determinant is two times five minus K squared which simplifies to 10 minus k squared. This must be greater than zero. Therefore, k squared must be less than 10. This gives the condition. k is between negative square root of 10 and positive square root of 10. Now, we compute the three by three determinant of the whole matrix. We expand along the first row, two times the determinant of the bottom right two by two matrix, minus k times the determinant formed from the second and third columns of the first and third rows plus one times the determinant formed from the second and third columns of the first and second rows. This gives two times the quantity five times one minus negative two times negative two minus K times the quantity K times one minus negative two times one plus one times the quantity K times negative two minus five times one. Simplifying step by step, two times open parenthesis five minus four close parenthesis gives two minus k times open parenthesis k plus 2 close parenthesis gives negative k squared minus 2k plus 1 times open parenthesis negative 2 k minus 5 close parenthesis gives negative 2 k minus 5 combining everything 2 minus k squared minus 2 k minus 2 k minus 5 which simplifies to negative k squared minus 4 k minus 3 we now require this entire expression to be greater than 0 so, negative k squared minus 4 k minus 3 must be positive. That's the same as k squared plus 4 k plus